the net zero world requires uh, new technologies, new innovation uh, from both international as well as local partners. It's a complex challenge. And to do that, uh, our organisation, the Agency for Science, Technology and Research, plays a key role in convening these different parties. Uh, for example, government, public agencies, industries, as well as research organisation, so that we can work together to develop research and translate this research into actual commercial deployment. Uh, to do that, ASTAR, being a strategic innovation engine, develops, for instance, the low carbon translational test bed so that we can bring together the low TL technologies into higher TLs so that to work with industry partner so that we can then uh, effectively deploy men and as uh, a local in Singapore, we can then work on these technologies with international partners to deploy these technologies across the world out of Singapore towards a global solution together. And some examples that we work on will include for instance, uh, being less dependent on fossil fuel by looking into how to use other raw materials like CO2, waste plastics, incinerated bottom ash, recycled concrete aggregates and so on, so that these non-traditional raw materials can replace fossil fuel to use it to make energy as well as other chemical products. And uh, in the future, we're also looking into how do we better develop next generation of technologies so that we can use these non-traditional raw materials like agriculture waste, biomass, and convert them into uh, useful products. For example, using enzymes or microbes in synthetic biology to do that. But that will help us to shift to the next paradigm of the processing and the chemical industry and what we can do for the future, for the future of the next generation.